Children of Israel, children of Yahudah. We are going to talk about our people. Birth of the twelve sons of Jacob, also called Yaqub. The twelve sons. We're going to begin with their names. First son of Jacob Yacoub is Reuben. The characteristics of Reuben is a jasmine plant. Simeon is like the city of Shechem. Levi Urem V Turem Yahuda, also called Judah, he is the lion. Dan, he has the characteristics of a snake. Naphtali, he is a gazelle. G.A.D. Gad has the characteristics of a military camp. Asher is an olive tree. Issachar has the characteristics of the sun and moon. Zebulun is like a ship. Joseph, also called Joseph, is like a bull. Benjamin, also called Benjamin, he is the last child of the 12 tribes of Israel, or Yahrael. He has the characteristics of a wolf. Who are the 12 tribes of Yahrael, also called Israel? Yaqub, also called Jacob, had 12 sons. The offspring of each of these men became the 12 tribes of the nation of Yahrael or Israel. Although all the tribes are part of one nation, each tribe has unique characteristics. And so when they were blessed by Yaqub, called Jacob, and later on when they were blessed by Moshe, who they called Moses, each tribe received a different blessing in accordance with their individual nature and purpose.
Children of Israel, children of Yahuda, I'm going to tell you the story of how the 12 tribes begin with their father, Yaqub, also called Jacob. Our forefather, Yaqub, also called Jacob, escaped from his brother Esau, who wanted to kill him. Our foremother, Rebecca, told Jacob, Yaqub, to leave the land of Israel and take refuge, take shelter in his uncle's house his uncle's name is Laban. He worked for his uncle as a shepherd, and it was there that he met his beautiful cousin Rachel, and they decided to get married. Laban, Rachel's father, permitted Jacob to marry Rachel only after completing seven years of labor. When the seven years were over, Laban tricked Jacob and gave him his older daughter Leah. Jacob then worked for Laban for another seven years and married Rachel as his second wife. His first wife Leah had six sons. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Yehuda, also called Judah, Issachar, and Zebulun and a daughter named Dinah. Rachel grew envious of her sister Leah because she still did not have children of her own. She gave her maidservant Bilhah to Jacob, Jacob as a concubine. As Bilhah's mistress, she would be able to raise Bilhah's children. Additionally, she hoped that in the merit of selflessness given Jacob her maidservant, Yahuwah would grant her children. Bilhah did in fact have two sons, whom Rachel named Dan and Naphtali. At this point, Leah also gave her maid servant Zelpa to Jacob as a concubine. Zelpa had two sons, G.A.D. Gad and Asher. Yahua Sabaoth, Almighty, All Powerful Elohim. Remember the righteousness of Rachel, who was childless. Yahuwah granted her her blessing. She had a son and named him Joseph, who they also called Joseph. Later, once the family of Jacob returned to the land of Israel, 
Rachel gave birth to a second son that is named Benjamin or Benjamin. Rachel died immediately after the difficult birth. Thus there were 12 sons and one daughter born from one father and four mothers. Each of these 12 sons are the father of one tribe except for Joseph who is the father of two tribes named for his sons Menashe and Ephraim. Children of Israel I'm going to read again the 12 sons, the name of the 12 sons of Yaqub, who they call Jacob. As you know, his name was changed to Yarael or Israel. Leah made Reuben the jasmine plant. Leah made Simeon, city of Shechem. Leah made Levi, Urim v. Terim. Leah made Yahuda, Judah. Bilha made Dan, a snake. Once again, Judah, Yahuda is the lion, the lion of the tribe of Judah, Yahuda. Dan, made by Bilha, represents the snake. Bilha made Naphtali, represents the gazelle. Zilpah made G.A.D. Gad, who is a military camp. Zilpah made Asher, who is the olive tree. Leah made Issachar represent the sun and the moon. Leah made Zebulun, represent a ship. Rachel made Benjamin, also called Benjamin, a wolf. Rachel made Joseph, represent the bull. Children of Israel, children of Yahuda. This is the beginning of our story considering the 12 tribes of Yahrael, also known as Yisrael. Children of Israel, children of Yahuda. I'm going to tell you about the names, the different names, the different meanings of our Elohim, our Creator, Yahuwah. The names of our Father have the name El, which means Supreme our Creator, our Father. The name El Shaddai means Yahuwah is sufficient for the needs of his people. All different names but one Elohim, one creator, Yahuwah. Only him we must worship. 
one. The name Yahovah Elohim means the eternal creator. The name Yahuwah Jareh means Yahuwah is our provider. The name Yahuwah Nisi means Yahuwah is our banner. We are victorious. The name Yahuwah means Yahuwah Rofeka, Yahuwah our healer. The name Yahuwah Shalom means Yahuwah our peace. The name Yahuwah Tizikenu means Yahuwah is our righteousness. The name Yahuwah Mekadeshkenem means Yahuwah our sanctifier. The name Yahuwah Sabaot means the Elohim, the supreme power, the master of the host of the firmament of the military. The name Yahuwah Shama means Yahuwah is present. The name Yahuwah Rohai means Yahuwah is our shepherd. The name Yahuwah Hosinu means Yahuwah is our maker. The name Yahuwah Elohinu means Yahuwah is our creator, our master. The names the I am means I am that I am. I am a father to Yahrael or Israel. I am a great king. I am alive forevermore. I am Alpha and Omega. I am for you. I am from above. I am your Elohim, your creator. I am almighty Elohim. I am gracious. I am he that comforted you. I am he that doth speak. I am he that liveth. I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts, the soul. I am holy. I am in the midst of Israel, us, a people. I am merciful. I am almighty. Elohim means supreme power. Almighty power. Children of Israel, children of Yahuda, take heed. Obey the commandments of Abaya. Humble thyself and pray unceasingly. Worship Abaya in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah.